Um, all right, Virgo, the overall energy that we have for this week is the devil here, okay? So y'all are obsessed with someone looks like, okay, there's definitely someone very toxic in your environment here that you're very, very obsessed with. They're obsessed with you, okay? But with the devil here, it looks like there is a, a situation or a connection that you cannot just get rid of. You're obsessed with this person, okay? And with the sun here, the problem is that this makes you very, very happy. Okay, this connection with the devil and the sun here, I mean, it's a connection that's so obsessive. But again, at the same time, it just makes you very, very happy. Okay, it gives you that feeling of that inner joy. Anyways, right now in the current situation with the five of swords, it looks like you're walking away from a situation where there was someone who was playing a lot of mind games with. Okay, this could be someone who has a lot of... Um, you know, you have like serious conflicts with this person, communication problems with this person, but definitely someone you're walking away from because this person has been very egoistical, all right? This could be someone who's got that, oh yeah, like I won, you know, but this is an empty, empty victory that this person has got, yeah? But they see you walking away and your challenge out here is the king of cups in reverse here. You're dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable, okay? Someone either who's got trust issues or someone who's just emotionally unavailable. This person is extremely extremely emotionally manipulative which is also the five of swords right that's again a very manipulative energy here but this is someone who always wants to be right and you're like you know what i'm fed up i'm done with this and you're walking away uh what's uh crowning the uh reading is the star here which means you're still very hopeful okay you have that faith and hope that things will be okay but at the same time with the star here i feel like this is a wish come true okay you're really really hoping and wishing that things can be okay between you guys uh, the star is also a card of healing. So maybe you're going through some healing right now, right? But you need a break. And now that you walked away from this person here, this person hurt you really bad. But yeah, you're hoping and wishing and praying that things can be okay between you guys. What's in your environment here or what's in your subconscious is the Ace of Cups, which means you want a renewal in love. If not you, this is this person who wants a renewal in love here with the Ace of Cups here. Uh, Ace of Cups is either new love or this is renewed love, all right? So, but I feel this is more like renewed love. Definitely someone in the past year who you've released yourself from, okay? Because with the hangman here in the reverse, there could be a situation where someone kept you in a past or kept you in a negative pattern, okay? There was a negative pattern that was being repeated again and again and again. And you finally wanted to get rid of it and that's what you did. You really, you released yourself from that situation. In the near future, we have the lovers here, which means that there is a union here, okay? But with the devil and the lovers here, right? This is more like the devil is uh, literally cursed by the devil and the lovers is blessed by our archangel, right? So uh, the lovers is a twin flame soulmate connection, all right? So either there is you who's going to have to make a choice, okay? There are decisions that are going to be presented to you in the near future and you're going to have to make a choice of whether you want to still continue being with this person or not. Because the lovers is big decisions, right? It's a decision that really impacts your life in a very big way. But you need to make a very logistic, a very head over heart decision, okay? And you need to see what is best for you, for your for your highest good. But the queen of wands in reverse here looks like you've completely backed out, all right? You're not taking action towards this person. You probably were very forthcoming in this relationship. Probably you were the one who was always wanting to take action, probably always making plans. But this time you've backed out, okay? You're being very laid back. You're not making shit happen. You're just letting shit happen, okay? It's like you've got that lack of motivation. You're very demotivated and you're just lack of interest, okay? But you could also be playing a lot of head games right now. Yeah, because this is definitely someone who's being a little uh, temperamental. You're pissed off with this person for sure. But uh, right now, I think this is a lot of head games also, okay? Someone who plays with other person's emotions. Not like I'm saying you're doing that. But I'm just feeling like you're very angry right now. Yeah, and you're playing some kind of head games. You're trying to manipulate this person here because that's what they did to you. What's coming in your environment that you don't see coming is that there is a decision that you're going to have to make, okay, with the two of wands here. There's someone here who needs to make a decision but still hasn't made it yet. So you're going to be at a crossroads very soon, okay. And you're, like I said, with the levels in the near future and your environment, there's someone here who's definitely who's coming in with that decision of, you know, like, what do you want to do, you know. But because we have the Ace of Cups here, so definitely this is someone who wants this renewal of love here. But uh, you're just going to be a little indecisive of whether you still want this with this person or not here. 
either you're going to have to make a choice between two people or this is just a decision of whether you want to continue being with this person or how fully committed you want to be with this person or do you just want to back out because with the lovers here yeah, this is definitely someone who had fear of commitment who would you know just shun you away every single time you spoke about something serious or every single time you tried to talk to them you know about what was wrong in the relationship they would just shut you down okay and you were fed up of that right you were fed up that would create a lot of escalate a lot of conflicts you know so yeah there was just someone who was just not ready to listen to you they always wanted to have the last word in the relationship yeah but they're coming in with the lovers here there is a reunion here because with the ace of cups here this is what this is what this person's bringing in but there are decisions that are going to be made because it looks like you've backed out for right now yeah you're not even putting any kind of work in your emotions your hopes and fears is that probably um I mean, you've overworked yourself probably in this, okay? Or probably you just feel that there is just nothing coming out of this relationship, okay? Again, Queen of Wands in reverse, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, you're here. So <clears throat> it seems to me that you've completely withdrawn yourself, you know, because you were always the one doing all the work in this relationship, okay? And because with the devil here, because you were so obsessed and this was something that was very toxic, you just, there was this codependency on this relationship that you had, okay? You just couldn't get over this person, because with the sun here, they, this is what this person meant to you, right? They made you very, very happy here. But in your emotions, looks like you're not wanting to work towards this anymore. Things are absolutely stuck and stagnant, yeah? You're probably literally like you feel like you've done all the work. You've been that uh, very uh, slow and steady lover, but very dedicated, uh, very stubborn. But you've always been there and put in your 100%. You feel like you've done all the hard work and now it's this person to show them how much they love you. And I mean, if you really mean anything to them okay looks like with the nine of pentacles here as the likely outcome someone's choosing to be single here all right let's verify tell me about the five of swords why is this here clarify the five of swords please why is the five of swords here yeah, see you walking away from a relationship where there was a lack of balance, a lack of equal give and take. You put in so much into this relationship only to get nothing back, okay? You feel undervalued, you feel like uh, that lack of appreciation, but there was always an imbalance here, okay? Either this person was giving two people and you were getting the bare minimum or this is just someone where it was just a one-sided situation, okay? They just never put in the work and you finally chose to walk away because this person was highly manipulative, Tell me, what is the star? What is this on Virgo's mind? Why is the star here on Virgo's mind? Why is this the crowning energy? Yeah, see, you're hoping, wishing and praying with the three of pentacles here two ways. Either you're waiting and wishing that this person comes back and you guys can collaborate and have this team work together. You guys can build together on this relationship or this foundation. Or you're hoping and wishing that you could probably find someone and who you could collaborate with, okay? Because this is what's on your mind. This is what's your focus. So your focus is collaboration. Your focus is where two people can be on the same page and work together and build that relationship together. Three of Pentacles can also mean that you're collaborating uh, with other people, you know, uh, uh, business, career-wise, okay? But because this is a love reading, that's how I'm going to look at it, okay? Even if this is not something that you want with this person, you're hoping you'll find someone where you can get that balance, okay, within the relationship, where someone is as committed as you are within the relationship. Why the Ace of Cups? Why is this Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Page of one, say you have communication coming in, guys. This is someone who's very, very enthusiastic, someone very passionate about you, okay? Now, let me tell you something. With the page of wands and the king of cups here, okay, and the queen of wands here, to me, you're the queen of wands. I mean, of course, you are the queen of wands here, right? But you're dealing with a page here. See, this is exactly what's happening here. And now this is someone who either has shut down or you've shut down to this person. <laughs> this is the problem here with the energetic difference out here. A- First of all, I see an age difference. If not, definitely an energetic difference, okay? You're like the action taker. You're consistent, okay? You know what you want and you're a go-getter. You get it. This is the page of wands here. So don't be surprised if one one moment they're very passionate about you, you know, and they I mean, this is a mover, right? The page of wands. I mean, if think... It, 
they always want this electrifying experience okay and the moment they uh, things get boring or things get very mundane you know and it's, it's the same old routine that's when they tend to fizzle out so that's the kind of person who's coming in towards you and who wants this renewal of love with you i feel you're going in circles with this person <coughs> because with the devil here this is a codependent relationship this is a relationship that you feel very restricted to okay no matter how much you try you just cannot get rid of this person or you just cannot you, you you literally are attached by the hip to this person okay that's how obsessive things get when this person comes back into your life and that's something that you're not being able to handle and with the devil here honestly no one can do anything about the energy of the devil here except you yourself okay so if you want to get rid of this toxicity or this person or this connection that's draining you out it's only you who can release it okay and i don't see it in the reverse i do see it in the upright which means we have that is the overall energy which means that is the theme of the reading for this week okay so yeah with the page of wands here this is the kind of person who's coming towards you okay so page of wands i mean he's still a fucking page right and you're a queen here so you want to think about what you want to do they're coming in because they're all of a sudden they feel that passion. The moment they get distracted, their chances they're gonna go away. Okay. Tell me about the hangman in reverse. Why is this in the past? Why is the hangman in reverse in the past? <laughs> Seven of Cups. You release yourself from a situation, okay, that uh, where where you were very confused. I thought this person kept you very confused because they kept giving you mixed signals or you were very confused because you just know where you stood in this person's life, okay? But you could even be dealing with someone who had a lot of options, you know, and they kept you as one of their options here and you were like, you know what, I'm fed up of being the one who's here being stuck, stagnant, waiting for you to respond, waiting for you to take the next step in a relationship or waiting the next, waiting for the next step in this um, connection, okay? And with the hangman here in the reverse, I feel you finally got rid of this person, okay? You let this person go. That's why the five of swords here, right? But this person hasn't let you go. They haven't. They haven't. <clears throat> I mean, you could be dealing with someone who is very one-sided perspective, okay? They lacked that view, that perspective of seeing things from another person's point of view. Anyways, with the lovers here, what is the lovers here in the near future? What is the... Whoa, why do a party? Just give me one second. Tell me about the lovers, please. What is the lovers? Tell me about the <laughs> see that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying where's the fucking king here this is what i want to see i want to see the king i'm getting a page i'm getting a knight where's the king of wands he's still okay i mean uh, not like the king of wands is someone very committal but i mean definitely i'd prefer a king of pentacles or a king of cups but with a page of wands okay so this is what's happening okay with the ace of cups and page of wands here you probably even want to talk to this person wanting a renewal and love but <clears throat> you're st it's still a page maybe this is you who's wanting to communicate okay you still have that little passion left okay you want that there's new communication coming in but whoever's coming towards in the near future it's still a fucking night they're gonna come and go because today they're very very passionate about you you've ignited that fire in them okay so now all of a sudden they feel that pull towards you like you know i want my work go back i need to talk to them okay so they're rushing in they're rushing in but the problem here is with the knights, they're travelers, right? They come in and they go. And you're the fucking queen here. You're, you stay put. You know what you want. You know what you bring to the table here with the king of cups here. But you're very shut off because you've reached that point of being very, very mature. You've given to this person, okay? But now this person has forced you to become better, which is exactly what is... Um, um, influencing the situation here, which is why you walked away. I mean, you just shut off to this person. Now you have trust issues with them. Or you could be dealing with someone because of being the knight and the page here. This is someone who's emotionally unavailable. See, eight of cups in reverse here. There's someone who's not being able to walk away. And this is definitely this person. You guys split. You guys, I mean, went your own ways. But this person tried probably, but they can't walk away because they're just too emotionally invested. But when it comes to giving you something serious or something committed, right, that's when they can't make a move. Tell me why the queen of wands in reverse. Tell me why the Queen of Wands in reverse. You're going to have to make a decision if you want to continue with this person or not. Why the Queen of Wands in reverse? Because because the Knight of Wands is in and out, in and out, okay? Another person who gives you a lot of mixed signals here. 
Yeah, you're wanting to move forward, okay? With the Queen of Wands and the Chariot here, you are hell-bent, okay? You're very willing, very determined to move forward from this person. You, you don't want to wait for this person at all. You don't want to. What's the Two of Wands? What's the Two of Wands? Why the Two of Wands here? Eight of Cups. You need to make a decision, okay? This is someone you've walked away from, okay? This is, it's, it's a different story that this person hasn't been able to walk away from you. That's why they're coming back. But this is someone you've walked away from, okay? And with the two of wands and the eight of cups here, I feel you're going to have to make a decision very soon about if you want to walk away from this person or not. You're still not making that decision, but you need to because it's already in your environment, okay? So someone's going to come in towards you with the Knight of Wands here and you're going to have to make a choice of whether you still want to stick to this person or you want to walk away. Three of Cups, someone wants a reunion with you. Um, why is this Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Why the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Why the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? I feel like you've done the work, you know, Virgo. And now you're fed up. You're fed up of putting in that work. See, the fool here. You're fed up of putting in this work and you want a brand new beginning. You know, it's like literally you're wanting to take a risk and wanting to move forward here with the chariot here. Because you're fed up, right? I get that energy of like, you know, like completely someone who's completely withdrawing that energy. You've completely retreated from this person because the five of swords is a repeating cycle also, right? You're going, you're going over and over and over again. That's your biggest fear here. Like I put in the work. I stay dedicated to this person and what if it's the same cycle again? Devil here, right? Repeating negative patterns. And with the fool here, you're just done. You just want to move ahead. You want to see what's there. You have that fear, but you still want to do it, you know? You have that fear of Dhamma, but you're still doing it. You still want to take that risk and see what's out there. What if you let this person go? What happens? What, why the nine of, nine of Pentacles? Two of Swords, yeah, see? Again, decisions, decisions, decisions. The Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, yeah, it looks like you're choosing to stay single with the outcome here because you refuse to see what this person has to offer you, okay? Or you just refuse to see what this person has to say because the Two of Swords is someone who's just flat out blocking the other person or just living in denial, okay? So for you, it's almost like, you know what? I just want to assume that this person doesn't exist. That's how I'd say, Virgo. That's what you're doing. You're just assuming that this person doesn't exist or even if they message you or they try to talk to you, right? It looks like to me like you're just going to ignore, okay? Two of sorts is ignore. You're just choosing to ignore this person and you're just choosing to be in your power, choosing to be on your own because of the devil here, right? It's getting too toxic for you. So <clears throat> I think they're coming back. I don't think. I see them coming back here. They want that renewal. That's for sure, okay? And this is like a new approach, okay? It's a very fresh perspective. Could have been that you guys have been on a break for a very long time, okay? But uh, they're coming with a fresh perspective. But what I see here is with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands here. I don't see this person bringing in something to the table. Yeah? That's what you want. But I mean, I'd rather prefer something like, you know, bringing in something to the table, like probably a commitment or probably some kind of communication. This communication with the page and the knight here, it's more like very wishy-washy, you know, it's not even the truth, it's not even a clarity, it's not swords here, you know, it's more like that passionate communication, like, hey baby, what's up, like, you know, like, do you want to meet up, something like that, you know, because with the lovers here, there is a very fucking strong attraction here, you guys are twin flames, okay, so you're going to be that push and pull, you know. Like one moment, you guys are going to be so passionate about each other. The, the second moment, you guys just stop talking. That's just, just how twin flames work. Okay. So till they don't learn their lessons, you don't learn your lessons. It's going to keep repeating. All right. But it looks like with the nine of pentacles and the two of soldiers, this time you're refusing to hear whatever this person has to say. And you're choosing to be in your element with the nine of pentacles here. I'm getting more like you've learned your lessons and you're, you're like, I'm okay on my own. I don't need anyone to be happy. You're financially abundant and uh, you have your friends, your family, you're taking care of yourself. Almost like an empress. Okay. Almost. Not really the empress, but almost like the empress here. Okay you don't need anyone you you have that high vibration energy okay you're vibing really high and that's why this person is getting drawn towards you okay this person could be someone very codependent you know they get very drawn towards your energy here they're very codependent on you but then 
with the King of Cups in reverse here, they're just emotionally unavailable. So they're still not going to be able to give you what you want. I'm not saying you want commitment, but you definitely want a lot of stability in the relationship, but you're de dealing with someone, you know, who's just not about that stability, okay? And that's what's making this relationship very, very toxic. So you're going to have to make a choice, Virgo, of wanting to walk away or if you still want to stay. But it looks like you're very determined to move forward here with the chariot and the pool here. So yeah, this person's bringing in choices. It's up to you to make up your mind. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.